Hey guys, it's a witch. And today I'm here with another Nendoroid opening and review. This is the Oikawa Nendoroid number 563 um, from Haikyuu, if you're not aware. Um, and Nendoroids are made by Good Smile Co. if you aren't familiar with them. So this is the second run of Oikawa's. Um, and I got I pre-ordered him and he came um, shortly after the release date. So yeah, let's look at the box real quick and see what it got on it. Got two Oikawas on that side. On the back, it shows him with his jacket. And another two Oikawas over here. Show you, there you go. So he's a volleyball player, if you're not familiar with the character. Um, and yeah, he comes with quite a few cool accessories, so let's get him opened up. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is not my first Nendroid, but I'm just going to go through this real quick in case you're not familiar with them. Sorry, that was an ugly noise. Um, so they come with bases um, that have a bunch of different pegs and you can pose them kind of wherever. The high Q bases are all a volleyball court theme. They come with usually three different face plates. Um, Sometimes they only come with two. Um, sometimes there's another one available with a different character. They come with a variety of arm and leg options. And then they usually come with a few accessories. Um, in his case, he comes with his jacket, as we discussed, a volleyball, and then a kind of a, like Air Force to go behind the volleyball. So, and then this is the main part to change the facial expressions uh, the front of the hair comes off and I will show you that in one second okay so this figure comes with uh, this face plate this face plate a kind of uh, I don't really know how to describe that expression determined maybe and then a silly face plate uh, he also comes with this jacket and the jackets, let's see if I can get to focus, got this cool logo on the back. And then these sleeves move so you can pose them kind of however you want. Um, I've attached the volleyball to the air. Um, it just pops right in on a little peg. Similar to the pegs that uh, go in the back of the figures. Um, he only comes with... Uh, four legs, so he comes with the standard ones that are on him. This one. And this one. Which is pretty typical. They often don't come with many uh, leg options. So, um, And just so you know, a lot of uh, companies make replicas of these. Um, and one good way to know, especially once it's open, um, if you have an authentic Nendroid, is Good Smile always puts these little smiley faces on their joints. Let's see if I can get to focus there. Yeah, so you can look for those to know if your uh, Nendroid is authentic. Um, as far as arms go, he has these straight down ones that uh, he came default with. He's got this one that comes with a sleeve, um, which usually they detach from the sleeve. Let's see, yep, so this detaches from the sleeve and you can put any of the other arms on there as well. So there's uh, this one that's got that little kind of uh, gesture. There's this one, it's like, there is this one, this one, which has a peg for the volleyball, this one, and lastly, this one. So that's all the parts he comes with default, um, other than, like I said, this stand. So let me show you how 
um, the face plates change. Like I said, it's pretty simple and it's the same on all dendrites. So you just pull the hair off the front and sometimes it can be a little difficult. Uh, he's not too bad and they look absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and you just pull the face plate off and he has a void back there, which um, some people use to store their extra parts. Then you just put another face plate in the same way you took it out. If it all the uh, go in without too much fight. I'm not sure why it's being so difficult. Okay, there we go. And you put the hair back on, same way. Sometimes they come with uh, hair changes as well. Um, I'm pretty sure um, Nishinoya came with, with uh, a hair change, which is another Haikyuu Nendoroid. I didn't get him, but my friend did. Um, so yeah, let me do some changing on him and get him posed and set up and I'll be right back. So here's my first setup with him. Um, I had to adjust the camera a little bit, so sorry that it's a uh, change now. So as you can see, I just put him in kind of a cutesy pose with the volleyball. Uh, that's how the peg goes in his back and it can go in most of the floor holes there. I just, you know, kind of stuck it in one. Um, and then uh, they bend at different points. Uh, so at each of these points it bends and you can move it around there however you want. So to get the, you know, the pose you want. So yeah, that's the first one. Let me uh, change them out real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, here's the second pose I've chosen for him. Um, it's one where he's a little bit higher up. Let me tip the camera a little bit so you can see it better. Um, and he's hitting the ball. So, And I included his jacket in here so you guys could kind of see how that worked as well. Um, his jacket was a little bit difficult to work with, but I did eventually get it there. Um, as kind of a side note... While these are really fun and they're really interchangeable, the pieces are very small and easy to lose. So I don't think I would necessarily recommend these for a younger audience. I feel like these are very appropriate for teens and maybe even preteens. Um, obviously adult collectors. But I don't think I would give these to a, a small child um, because they are on the pricier side and they are very easy to lose the pieces. That being said... Um, it's really a judgment call based on the maturity of your child. So, um, yeah. So for anybody who doesn't know, I'm going to talk a little bit more about Nendroids. Um, so they, for the most part, are as interchangeable as this one. Um, there are a few other good smile lines, including some Nendroid lines that have a little less in the, like, movability, interchangeability um, but for the most part, the main ones are like this, and they make characters of, uh, primarily anime characters, but they also do some movie characters, some video game characters, some American television characters, um, so there's definitely a variety. Right now, they have just recently added Disney characters to the lineup as well, so yeah, they are are um if you buy them new if you pre-order them they are in about the 45 to 55 dollar range um but so like i said they are a little on the pricier side but not really for what you're getting i don't feel like and especially if you're into anime figure collecting you know really 50 dollars isn't that much for an anime figure um but yes if you buy them secondhand they can get quite pricey um so I always recommend pre-ordering them if possible uh you might get lucky you can find them a lot of anime conventions but they're usually a little marked up so yeah that's all I've got to say about him let me know if you have any questions or if you want to see anything else about him I will uh gladly answer them and let me know below if you have any nendoroids if you have any haikyuu nendoroids uh, who your favorite Haikyuu characters are, anything like that. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.